Okay. So welcome everyone. Um, my name is Laura Adam Monis. I am co-hosting and being the tech person for Bud. If you have any questions while he's doing his presentation, please put them in the chat, and I'll it, um, we'll have will ask me uh, at certain points if there's any questions and if there's something uh, that's kind of relevant to what he's talking about at the moment. Um, I might interrupt him at that point too. So just kind of bear with us on that aspect of it and uh, welcome. Um, you found us on learn.wordpress.org or on Meetup. Continue. Uh, we're going to have some great stuff coming out for the to continue with the 6.4 and with the new 2024 theme that's coming out also. So here is Bud. OK, thank you, Laura. And hello, everybody. Uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Bud Krauss. Uh, let me uh, just do some housekeeping here. In other words, turn on my screen, right? Wouldn't that be a good idea? And after I get that going, let's see. Okay, already we have, <laughs> didn't take long. Um, you don't see my screen, do you, Laura? I do see your screen, yeah. Your PowerPoint's okay. right. up. Oh, yes, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, the... of course. Yeah, you're and good. And let me, and I want to do one other thing. I want to get this. Um, hide the, yeah, the floating. Okay. All right. So now that didn't work. Um, one other thing I've got to do. So bear with me. It says hide floating. All right. That worked. Okay. So let's get started. Um, Oh, it came back again. I don't know why I just can't get rid of this thing. All right. That's life. Um, okay. So there I am. And I've got some more Zoom UI that I want to get out of the way. It will get out of the way, I guess. So uh, I'm talking to you. or coming from Nutley, New Jersey. That's 12 miles west of New York City, where it's cold and beautiful today. And we're in the middle of fall. Actually, yeah, it's, a, it's pretty much peak around here, so it's really nice. Um, my company is Joy of WP, and I, I am an instructor, but what I really do today is create WordPress content for WordPress businesses. So I do all kinds of things like uh, create how-to videos and courses and stuff like what's new in WordPress 6.4, and on it goes. And I work with a lot of different WordPress vendors. So before we get going, let's uh, find out who's here. In other words, it's not so much who's here, but what do you guys know? So we're going to take a little survey. I didn't tell you about this, Laura, but everybody, I want you to put in one of the following three entries. That is, I'm new to WordPress, or I use the block editor and I really like it, or I don't use the block editor. Now, if you don't know the, what the block editor is also called Gutenberg, so I'll use those terms interchangeably. And I'm just curious, like, what do we have here? Who's here? So please enter that into the chat. And Laura, you can do a quick little look for me to yep. see. Now, I didn't tell Laura about this, so she's. <laughs> I really put her on the spot here. <laughs> this is going to be a, a lot tough of twos. one. We have a 2.5 ah. XD. A <laughs> 2.5. Oh. That, that's cheating. <laughs> There's no 2.5. Uh, All right. A couple of ones, but mostly twos. And how about any oh. threes? Nobody's a three yet. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So uh, before we get into the big picture, I do want to say that uh, I'm a person who's visually impaired. So I may do something with my screen that looks a little weird or I don't see something as fast as you do. So just bear with me. We'll, we'll get this done. All right. As far as the big picture goes with what's new in WordPress 6.4. Um, I'm going to get a little trouble with something here. It's the third of three major releases this year. And um, the one that was before that 6.4 came out in August. Uh, this is being led by an underrepresented gender release team. And that's the second time this has happened in the history of WordPress. 
Uh, there are hundreds of performance upgrades and site enhance, uh, security enhancements and accessibility improvements with keystrokes and things like that. Oh, also, there are plenty of bug fixes, aren't there always, with any WordPress release. But one of the things we will be looking at today is the shiny new default theme 2024. So we'll get into that a little bit. Now, oh, don't worry, this is not going to be, you know, a half hour you know, PowerPoint presentation. No, I'm actually going to do live hands-on demonstrations. All right. Uh, a few words for you developers out there. So um, this is um, 6.4 introduces the interactivity API. And rather than talk about it, I'm going to show you the only two examples that I can show you right now of it in use. There's also now a new block hooks API or a block hook API. And if you know how WordPress works with its hooks, you'll understand that this is the ability to hook in or to insert code uh, as a child block into a template or a template pattern. I'm sorry, a template, a template part or a pattern. Uh, I'm not going to show you an example of it. I just want you to know that's something new for developers. There's also this user block editing mode. There's actually three of these different modes. One's disable mode, and there's a, a content mode and a default mode. Now, these deal with uh, how a developer can lock down a block. And there's also a, an improvement to, method to um, script loading, which of course means faster, better performance. And finally, there's one that I really don't really know much about or know the least about, which is um, the new admin notice functionality. I guess that's the ability to shut off all those nagging uh, announcements that plugin developers and theme authors have in their in their source code. But I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, let's focus on end users, and that we're, and that's pretty much what I'm going to do for most of this presentation. And by end users, I'm talking about uh, content creators, and and uh, right now there's um, uh, so we have an enhanced command palette. Now the command palette was introduced in 6.3 and it's sort of like the, um, it's a, it's a text box that you can enter in different commands. I haven't used it all that much yet, but, um, it, it's sort of like the spotlight search on a Mac where you just can call up this little box, put something in there, ask a question or execute a command. It's very similar to that. And if somebody wants me to show you that I will, but I don't really plan on doing that during my demonstrations. And there are no more media attachment pages, those useless media attachment pages, which just was a mess for SEO. They don't exist anymore for new installations. Now there is a way to turn them off for old installations, but you know, that's this is gonna be one of those, unless you ask me how to do it, I'm not gonna do it. Okay. But uh, you so instead of going to a media attachment page, I think you're just going to see the media itself without the attachment page because, as I've said, they were pretty useless. For the, all right, um, now my demonstrations. What am I going to show you? All right, first we're going to look at the. Uh, why is this in the way here? So I can't get this. We're going to be looking at some of the design tool enhancements, and what else do we have here? Um, I will show you that interactivity uh, API in action. Some of the site editor upgrades. And my favorite, the quality of life improvements. What would we do without them? And they're usually in every WordPress release. And finally, as I mentioned, the 2024 theme. It's the new theme. Okay, that is shipping with this now. We're not ready to do that. We're not going to do the summing up yet. Let's do the demonstration. So let's get out of here. And any questions so far? There shouldn't be, but just in case. Laura? Laura, are you there? Can anybody yep, I'm hear there. Me? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm here. All right. You know, the old, oh, no, don't tell me no one could hear me. Um, All right. So Peter was at a uh, uh, Petra. How um, how do you uh, turn off the attachment pages on the uh, old installs? Okay. All right. I will hold that to later on, okay? Because we'll come back to that. Well, that's a really good one, but there is a way to do it. Um, um, okay. I'm still having trouble with my um, getting rid of something here. So just give me one more second. 
Uh, I don't understand. Um, wow, this doesn't work. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to live with this. Um, let's give me... All right. Okay, so WordPress 6.4. This is, I think, the screen that you're likely to be seeing in a couple of days. Now, it's scheduled to come out on November 7th. Right now, it's in what's called Release Candidate 3, so it's almost ready. I've noticed there's some changes between RC2 and RC3. There's very subtle, but, right, you know, there isn't going to be major, there's nothing major that's going to happen between what I'm going to show you and the final version of 6.4. And I do want to show you this right over here uh, in the plugins. I always like to tell people, show them like what I'm working with. So that's it. I'm just using the WordPress beta tester. There's no hocus pocus. I'm not using the Gutenberg plugin. I shouldn't be at this point. So you know that um, uh, you're just seeing what WordPress will be like uh, in a couple of days, actually. All right. First thing I want to do is show you some of the... Um, some of the design tool changes now. And for that, I'm specifically going to focus on two things right now. Actually, it'll be three, but it's two things. One is the ability to add a background image to the group block. And the other one is the ability to add a, <clears throat> uh, a excuse me, a button into the navigation block. Now, I'm going to show you this through the block editor, but you can do this, I'm sorry, through the site editor, but anywhere a group block appears or a navigation button appears, you can do what I'm about to show you. All right, so I'm gonna take you into appearance. I'm gonna take you into the editor. And uh, actually, I don't wanna do it that way, sorry. I wanna do it a little bit different. So let's go out to the site and let's do it this way. I'm gonna go into site editor. It's just a different way to do this. And all right. And right over here, let's take a look at the list view. And in the header, I've got the um just I don't know if I've got to the right place. Yeah. The group block. Actually, is this where I want to go? No, sorry. <laughs> uh this is not like me. Um, but what I want to do to make life simpler. I was I initially was going to make life simpler, then I made it more complicated, and now I'm going to make it simpler again. I'm going to go into patterns and let's just let's just go right over to the header area right over here. Okay. Right. You may know that this kind of got rearranged in 6.3 where all the you know the header, the footer got pushed into the pattern section. That's new, not in 6.4, but in 6.3. And so what I'm going to do is change the header in for all of my pages and posts and blog archive. And here we go. Okay, so this is what I want. Sorry to take you down the wrong place here. So in my group block, I said you can add a background image. And I'm going to do that right by going over to the style tab right over here. And this is new where you can put in a background image. I'm going to go into my media library and I'm going to use this image right over here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. And they've also given us the ability to adjust the minimum height here, which is good. Um, I'm going to use pixels. Now, you can change the unit of measurements. You can see this over here. This is typical almost for anything now uh, is the ability to do that. But one thing you can't do is you can't change the focal point or the background image position that you can do with the cover block. So even though this is similar to the cover block, it isn't exactly, or let's just say it's not as robust as the cover block, but I do suspect that over time, you will be able to insert a background image into any block in uh, WordPress or just about any block that would make sense to do a background image. And that's fine. I'm gonna leave it just like this. Now, what I also wanna do, is go into my navigation. And I said you can now add in the nav, here it is the navigation. Um, just give me one second here, yeah. The navigation block, 
And I said, you can add a, uh, a button block. And I'm going to do that right over here. I'm going to insert, and this right over here, um, the button. Okay. And now we should have it. Now you don't see it because I've got to get rid of this up here. And now we see it. And I'm going to change this. So I need to add some text here. And I'm going to say uh, log in and log out. And I need to also add the link, of course. And I happen to have, let me see. Yeah, I happen to have a log in, log out page. If you didn't know this, there is an actual um, uh, block that does the logging in and logging out. It presents that or uh, shows that kind of interface in the block, which is great. It was something that we didn't have in the classical version of WordPress. Um, anyway, I'm going to save this and we'll have a look. So those are two changes to design tool enhancements right off the bat. And I'm going to go uh, to the home, to the front and you'll see, okay. So this header is now applying throughout the entire site. And, uh, oh yeah, I said login. And uh, just to show you, you can, uh, oh, it's down here. I can't see it because of the, but you can log in and log out right through this. Um, so that's really nice. Okay. Now I said there was two, right? Well, actually there's a third one. Let's have a look for design enhancements. And right over here, vertical text. Now, if you love vertical text, you are really in luck. So it's not my thing. Okay. I must admit it's not my, uh, but I'm going to show you how you can do it. So let's let's edit the page, okay? Hey, and Bud, of course the music. Before yes. we jump into that, um, question yeah. is, can I, yeah. can I style that button? I was just like gonna I say, style? yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Ask, ask me the question. Um, can I style that button? Uh, Michelle is asking the way I style other buttons on the site. Yes, yes, you can. Same, it's, it's just the buttons black, which contains button blocks, right? And in the example I showed you, I just had one button within the buttons block. You have to be careful how you say all that stuff. Okay, but Thank the answer you. is yes. All right, so right over here, uh, I want to um, change this now to vertical. Okay, <laughs> not really because as I've said, I'm not big for, as somebody who's visually impaired, uh, vertical text, not so much. Okay, so... I'm going to go to, where am I going to go? Oh, yeah, to topography. And see, where's my topography? Here we go. And in the settings, right over here, the three dots. And I'm going to scroll down over here. And this is new, text orientation. And I'm going to click on that. And if I got it right, and it's so hard sometimes to work with this. What should happen is, let's see if I got it. Yeah, this is new. This is just added because I clicked on that text orientation. So it shows up right over here in the interface and right over here, there you go. So you can go ahead and tilt your head to, to read it. And so if you want, now I, I still find there's limitations as to positioning this. Let's say I wanted to get it closer to the bottle. I had some trouble doing that. Maybe somebody knows there's a better way to do it. But the way this is laid out is that it's a two column layout, just one and two. So, all right, but we're gonna move on unless somebody has a question. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, update the page and that's good. Now I did say, so really those are three different design enhancements or tools to uh, improve or enhance design. And I did say that there was a, um, uh, something called the Interactivity API, and there are two um, examples I'm going to show you. Now, there's only two because they've only, they've. this is a brand new API, and I expect that developers are going to use it more and more, and we're not even going to be aware of it. But here's here's an ex here are two examples of how it works. One is, eh, <laughs> is here, Lightbox. Let's see. So check it, check this out. So you have a gallery over here, and a single image over here. Okay. And if I click on, well, look at this. You can see, oh, a light box effect. Now I can't go to the next one like you would like think, right? I, I could go, well, this one's not gonna do it. And this one does. Okay, now it's not broken. I set it up this way, so don't worry. Oh, it must be broken. No, 
And here's another example. So anytime I hover over, you can see, um, okay, got it. And then nothing over here. And for the single image, uh, okay, so it works. So what's going on? How does this work? Well, let's go into the page and take a look. Now, again, this is the interactivity API in, in, in effect that's giving us the light box effect. And if I just click on this image, now you, you probably know that galleries are just nothing but collections of single image blocks. And if I clicked on this one over here, which I did, I selected this image and I go down to right over here, it says um, expand to click, that's it. And if I click this one over here, you'll see, uh, no, that's not selected. So that's it. It's just a matter of toggling on and off. Now you might be thinking like, oh, I have a whole site that I want to use that for. I'm going to have to click on every one of those. Nope. You can set the global style in the, if you're using a block theme, you can go into styles and set it there so that it'll apply to all images across the site. And then, so that's the default. And so then if you want an image not to expand on click, then you would go into that one image and just deselect it. So you would have what you'd see right over here. Right. So that to me makes a lot of sense. So it's a lot more useful than what you're just seeing over here. At least that is, it's a lot easier to work with than what you're seeing here. Um, and the same thing with this over here. Again, it's just a single image and it's selected over there. All right. So that's the, that's one. Now the other example is pretty subtle, but it's there. And I'm going to go, it took me a little while to figure out this one, but um, if you go to the, let's see, blog, I think we have it over here. Okay. So I have a blog that has two uh, different loops or two, two different query loops. One is for this category over here, which is scenes. And then the other one is for food. And okay, fine. It looks kind of standard-ish. Oh, by the way, since I am using 2024, and we'll look a little more into this in a, in a little bit. You can see one of the hallmarks seems to be rounded corners for all the images. Okay. It doesn't have to be, but that's sort of the default way of styling images in 2024. Anyway, down over here, if I click on new page, now you have to watch this really carefully. Did that reload? Laura, what do you think? Did that reload? Um, Did you see a page reload there? I did not now watch. because of the fact that I was looking at the <laughs> chat. <laughs> Aha. Okay. And now this one over here. Let's see. Let's take a look at that one. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell. Let me just take a look at what's going on here. So for that, I am going to go into the site editor because that's where all this is taking place. And I'm going to go over here. And I sort of forgot how I set this up. So I'm going to go into this and we're going to go into i want to see the query loop for the column on the left hand side so that would be group columns on the left hand side uh, and then this one over here okay and right over here it says let's see over here on the left hand right hand side this is what's new it says um force page reload. Now, interestingly enough, they just changed this because in release candidate two, um, it says um, pagination enhancement. <laughs> so either way, the page is not going, if you, if you, um, the, what's going to happen here is in this, in this instance, the page does reload compared to, let's look at the other one over here. And that is We'll look at this other loop over here. That is, this is the second one, the one to the right. This is the, yeah, the one, this is the one, yeah, this is the one to the right. And what's selected over here is right over here. So in this case, what do we have here? This is the, this is not the default behavior. This is the browser, uh, browsing between the pages requires a full uh, page reload. Um, yeah, so that's, that is, does not require, let me, did I see that right? Requires a full page reload. Oops, sorry. Um, let's see that again. Let me see if we can actually take a better look at that and understand what's going on here. Like I said, I had a little hard time understanding this, but it shouldn't be that difficult. 
So but like when when you're in the page eight, yeah. when you're at the page eight, right here. Uh, yeah, when you right. click next page, it, it like reloads the whole thing. Exactly. See, it's, exactly. It's more subtle now. But now here, right, right, right. But now here on the right side, yeah, you see, you can't see it because it's it doesn't reload. Yeah. Yeah. Did I get that right? Um. Anyway, so there. That's the pad. That's the interactivity API. Those two examples. The the force page reload and the um and the light box effect. Now let's have a look at some of the changes to the site editor. And I think the one I'm about to show you hey, is bud. the most interesting. Yes. Question. Um before we move on, uh there was a question yeah. about the light box view. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sorry I'm not asking about the question. Sorry. Oh that no, that's okay. I, I think right. everyone's very interested in everything, so there hasn't been a lot of questions. Uh now there stay is tuned. No Everybody's wait. Well, hold on a second. Everybody will have lunch on me when this is done. So you want to stay there, okay? <laughs> uh, we do have uh, fifty-one people, so don't make promises. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I, I don't. I, I'm not a man of my word. So go ahead. <laughs> so, go ahead. Um, it is there a way to navigate the gallery while in the light box view? Because they're saying there is no way to navigate the gallery while in the light box view. That's right. That is right now. That's the way it is. Now, can will that change? Probably. Okay. Yeah. So if we go back to the light box, I think that, that is exactly correct. There is no way as of now to, let's see, click over here. And then you would say, let's say there'd be an arrow over here to cycle through the other images. Can't yeah. do it. Not yeah. yet. Do I think it's going to come? Probably. I mean, you could sort oh, yeah. of remember this is all early stuff. You're, I mean, you're looking at things that are, you know, newly minted and they're not fully developed, but they're coming and they're you can mm -hmm. use them now. Um, okay, so I want to talk about that site editor stuff because I think what I'm about to show you is like the most interesting of 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 all the changes in six four. Uh, actually, the first thing I want to show you is let's jump into the site editor and. Um, First thing I want to show you is in styles. Okay. If I click on, so we open this whole thing up. Now, what's really kind of, uh, I'm, and it has a lot of potential. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? Okay. All right. Um, is right over here. If you go over to the styles icon, Oh, excuse me. And you go right over here. Now we've had this. This is the style book. You're probably familiar with this. And um, but right over here, this is new. This is revisions history. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh no, don't tell me it's gonna be like revisions history, like pages and posts in WordPress. No, this is actually the future of WordPress. So if I click on revisions history, now you can see a listing starting with the oldest, that is the where I started. And each one of these remembers, as long as you do a save, it remembers and, and stores the information about what the styling looked like at a particular point in time. So I'm going to just click on a few of these and you can see, okay, now I didn't do a whole lot of big changes here, but I just wanted to do this for demonstration purposes is that there are... Now here's what's also cool too, and you'll see you'll you'll get it. If people are following WordPress closely, they'll get this in a second. So notice right over here, this isn't me. This is my son. Okay, now of course my son doesn't do this, but <laughs> that's WordPress's dad's thing. Um, but what I'm getting at is that different users are recorded in their style changes, so that you can work collaboratively on style changes and have them saved. And of course, you know, it's more than just the colors over here that can change. It can change anything. And as long as you save them, it's fantastic. So you could say like, hey, we did a great styling back here. Let's apply this. Okay. And let's work with this. I just applied it. So now I can make all the changes based on, you know, I can go on and continue to make, I can just go and open up the style book and start making changes right through here. So that's, I think it's really interesting. Now, why do I get so excited about this? Because WordPress, uh, the Gutenberg phase three is collaboration. And you can see this is opening up the door to how people are going to be able to collaborate 
and make it have some sense to it as far as saving um uh you know versions of what they're doing uh, i'm going to go back to history and you can see also you can delete all changes too or you can re go back to the beginning i'm just going to go over here and actually just go back to here and apply and that's fine okay so uh, as long as you click the save, that's the way it works now. As long as you click save, the revisions will be saved. And uh, I just, I do get a little excited about this because the I can see the future of WordPress in phase three, right through here of what's going to happen. All right. Now I want to take a look at something that I also think is pretty interesting. And that is, let's go over to patterns. All right. Now, uh, 2024 comes loaded with patterns. If if there's one thing I could say about 2024, lots of patterns. And I'm not going to go through all the patterns, obviously. But you can see the patterns are categorized. That's not really new. But we can now create our own patterns. Again, that's not really new. But we can also apply our own categories. And that's definitely a new feature. So let's just create a pattern. And like I say, I'm not going to go through all of them. Oh, I do want to just show you one right over here. Um, I have a tech. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to look for um, galleries. So I have five patterns and galleries. And uh, as a preview of what's coming, take a look at this. Now you can say like, wait a minute, how could you have a blank pattern? No, it's not blank. So if I click on it, what you see is like, or over here, you see like these placeholders, like images, right? Or like the little spaces of like where images could go. Oh, that's new. All right. So I want to be able to create one of these. So if I create, let's say, a gallery pattern of my own, how do I do that? Okay. All right. Let me show you. So I'm going to go over to here. And um, now we've had this before, but this is new over here. The ability to right from here, import a pattern. I'm going to show you importing and exporting in a bit. But let's just focus in on right over here. So I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it something fancy like um, Bud's Pattern. Okay. <laughs> and I said it would be fancy. And then I could enter my own category name if I want. Or I'm not so creative here. So I am going to use an existing category. And of course, it's going to be a gallery. So why not just add gallery? So yes, can you add more than one category to the pattern? Sure. So find out right over here. What does this mean? If you're familiar with this, with reusable blocks, this is exactly what this is, a synced pattern. And um, th that is, if you make a change to this pattern anywhere on the site, it'll change wherever that pattern is being used. Well, that's okay. Uh, I can also change this a little later on and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna leave it right like this. And let's start. And what I'm going to do is, how are we doing on time? We're getting close to the end here. So I just want to check on time. Okay, we're doing good. Uh, we're, yeah, we're at 2.37, yeah. so we're good. Yeah. And any questions right now while I'm looking at something? Um, yeah, when you were showing that revisions, is there a uh, time limit on the history of that save? Do you know anything about that? Or can you delete uh, is, a saved revision item to keep oh, the list? Oh, no, manageable? not yet. Re nope. But you know what? This is again first look, right? Yeah. This is the first iteration released in six point four. And do I think that's going to change? You bet. Okay. So what you're just talking about, you're going to see it, and not just in style revisions, but in page revisions, post revisions, custom post type revisions, any kind of revisions. You're going to see sort of a list that you can go back to. It's like, um, I guess it'll be a lot like Google Docs that you and can it, go back and see. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's the whole part of the collaboration, uh, right. being able to work on a document with multiple people. So uh, that's it, right. That's just in real time. To grow. Yeah. And also, right. It, this is only going to develop. It's really our first look at phase three. And this is only going to grow and change as time goes on. So, um, and also don't forget, we're talking about real time changes as far as I know. Okay. So uh, you can't do that now, but uh, I, I think that's coming. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start with um, right over here. 
I'm going to create my own pattern here. Let's just, uh, let's type in, I'm going to make it real simple because once you understand the concept, I don't have to make this complicated and we'll do this. And now I'm going to enter, um, I'm going to add, let's see, a, um, uh, okay. I'm just going to do this over here, actually. Uh, I think that's the best way to do this. Columns, and we'll do columns like so. And I'll get this out of the way. And here is the here's something that's new. So I am going to just choose an image right over here. All right, I'm going to insert my image. But rather than look in the media library for it, uh -uh, I'm just going to go right over here into the uh, where are we here um let's get out of let's go into here and into the image and right over here aspect ratio i'm going to pick let's say a square box all right didn't change all that much i don't think and now this one over here i'm also going to add an image and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to change the aspect ratio and you can see the ones that are there by default. I'm sure that you know different theme authors will have different uh, dimensions put in here. And um, let's do, okay, something like that, all right. And we'll save it. And I'm keeping this very simple. Actually, what I also wanna do before we move off is to inside the group block, I'm gonna put in a background color to make it a little easier to see. Um, yeah, you know, okay. All right, I think that'll work. All right, so we're saving this pattern. Perfect. And what I want to do is use it. And I'm going to go over to page. Let's just add a new page. Oops, page, new page. And we're just going to now look at this. So, so, oops, that happened so fast <laughs> that. I'm going to leave. What happened is, and I don't like this, and I maybe it'll, they will change this, but uh, yeah, if I do this, add new. So 2024 pops up all these themes. And you could probably look around for mine or or your pattern, actually. Not a theme, but a pattern. I don't see anything. Uh, so I'm going to just close this out, and then we're just going to put in the word pattern over here. P. Ah, I'm not even going to title it. What I'm going to do is I could just type in, let's see, slash. There we go. So my pattern is over here. Now I could also get it right through here. I, I could have gone to the inserter, chosen pattern. And my patterns, this is new. Okay. I mean, I, it, this isn't, I mean, the fact that I created a pattern, it'll show up in there. And it'll also show up, of course, in the gallery pattern as well. But I just did it like this. And now you can see what's really good about this. You just click on this. You go into the media library and you can add your media. Now, one thing you'll want to be careful of. Remember, I showed you that this is a synced pattern, meaning right now, if I once I get this thing going, wherever I change the pattern, whenever it's used, it will change throughout the site. And I may not want to do that so I can unsync it. And I'm going to just do that by... Um, right over here. Whoops. There's a lot of controls, right? Detach. And now it's just a regular group block over here. All right. I'm going to save some time by not, you get the idea. I'll just do it real quick. I'll just do one of these media and put this in here and so on. So that is really great. Now, why is that great? Because before we'd have to put, we'd have to populate these with, we'd have to pop, populate our patterns that we created with images we don't have to do that anymore. We can just put in placeholders and then populate our images. So that is a time saver. I really like that idea. All right, we are heading down the home stretch here. Just a couple other things I want to get in here. Uh, oh yeah. So what is really nice, in case you don't know about this, I'm gonna just save this. What's really nice is we go into the site editor and we go into, um, Right over here, patterns. 
Uh, da, da, da. Hold on. Patterns. Down here, manage patterns, manage all patterns or manage my patterns, my patterns. And you can see my patterns over here, right? The one that I created, but I can export this as a JSON file. I'm not going to do that. You probably know how to do that, but I'm going to add a pattern. So, or import a pattern. So for that, uh, uh, that's not what I want to do, is it? No, I don't want to, I don't think I want to do it that way. Hold on. Um, I don't want to do a new pattern. I want to, all right, well, there's a couple of ways to import. I'm going to do it like this. Let's go back. And I'm going to try something I haven't really tried yet, but this won't take long. Right over here, I showed you this a minute ago, and that is import, and it should, right. And then right over here, I have a, I have a pattern that I created with another, uh, from another site using a different theme. Now, it was a block theme, all right, like this one. And if I go over here now to my patterns, I have this pattern in over here. So it's just that simple. And of course, one last look over here. If we go over here, it's in there now and you can manage it. And you can edit the patterns right from here. If I click on edit pattern, it'll just take you to a regular page and you can just edit the pattern. Remember, gotta be careful if it's a synced pattern or it's not a synced pattern. You have to always know that. Last, or we're just getting to the end. Oh, we're not quite there. Um, any questions while I'm fumbling around here, Laura? Um, we ju we're just having a, a, a little discussion about that. Um, <laughs> okay. The, uh, the, the, the manage the revision, uh, thing, is it something new? Okay. Uh, there are plugins out there that can manage yeah. your revisions. So, uh, right. just clarifying some things for people. We're okay. good. Okay. Okay. Um, what I want to, we're almost done. I want to do, um, excuse me, a couple of those little quality of life improvements, as they say. And uh, uh, yeah, so for here, we're going to go into that light box example. And we're going to go over here. And I'm going to show you list view. Oops, uh, I'm sorry, list view. Now look at this. List view has uh, images. Now I really, you know, personally, I don't find much value to this. That's a little editorial there. But every... Uh, image now has a little thumbnail. It's pretty small of what the image looks like. So, you know, fine if you like that idea. But here's something I think is a little more useful, quite frankly, is that if you have, hmm, let's do, let's put every, this is not, hmm, da, 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 da. let's do, let me get out of here and show you real quick. Um, I thought I had something in there to show you, but just give me one second here. And right over here, back to patterns. And we're going to go my patterns. And yeah, I can do it this way. Because this one uses the group block. Now watch this. You can now go over here and change or rename the group block. And let's just call this, oh, we'll just call this pattern, pattern block. Okay. Now it's not a very imaginative name, but you'll see what happens is it now shows up as pattern block. Now I think eventually you're going to be able to rename all of the items in the list view so that there'll be a little more, well, you know, so columns you can't rename it yet, but maybe, you know, that's coming that we'll be able to rename that. All right. Last <laughs> is uh, quick... 2024. Sure. Hey bud, I have a question. Oh yeah, sure. Go ahead. Um, from the chat, could you save a template as a pattern in order to export and import into a different full site editing theme? All right. Let me read that. Say that again. I think the answer is yes, but uh, go ahead. Could you say save, that one more time. Could you save a template as a pattern in order to export, oh, to export and, it? Right, right. Export and uh, import into a different theme. Yeah, as long as you're saving it as a pattern, yes. Um, but I, I, you know, hold on. Let me just take a quick look at that one because I don't think that would work. So I, I templates, um, manage all templates right over here. I don't know, or if I knew, I forgot. <laughs> so 
Um, uh, yeah, I know what in you're the, saying. In the chat says, uh, yes, that is possible. So yeah. Okay. It, it would make sense that that's possible. Thanks for the help on that. Um, so again, you can create a pattern and then, um, or you can create a template and push that into pattern or save it as a pattern, right? And then export that into another website. As long as you can export, the answer is yes. So that would make sense that you can do that. All right. Um, one last thing. It's 2024. And and then I'll answer any questions. And I know somebody wanted to see how do you change the get rid of the media attachments? Yay. You can get rid of media attachments. Um, uh, I can't move my I have some UI in the middle over here. Uh, OK, you have about 10 um, minutes. OK, we're good. We're, we're very good. OK, so I got as much in, as I could. <laughs> yeah, we're, I, yeah, I, have, I want to do this. I want to do a summary and then questions. So here it is, 2024. Um, this is the demo site of the um, of the theme. And uh, it will, of course, be. Now, if you want to get it right now, go to GitHub and do a search for 2024 and you can download the code and that's that. But because um, that's, I think, the only way you can get it. And you've seen quite a bit of this already, actually. The one thing I want to show you here, right here, even though this is a very flexible default theme, and that's true, you can really use this thing for anything. And a lot of people think this is the best WordPress stock theme ever. I don't know. That's not for me to say. But initially, or it's going to be marketed and geared for entrepreneurs, photographers, or artists, and bloggers. And um, so, for example, I think this one's kind of interesting here. Again, these are just examples. Doesn't mean you're locked into this style and anything like that. I thought what was kind of interesting is, oh, sidebars are back. <laughs> you know, they were gone and now they're back. So maybe so, maybe not, but you get the idea. Uh, now, uh, the, it comes, uh, most of the style variations have um, the two, um, there are two different fonts of note that come with it, but a little disappointing here was the fact that the font library, as probably a lot of people here may know, was not, as they say, the technical term, it was punted to, to WordPress 6.5. So um, hopefully we'll see the font library once and for all. Now, if you got to see any of the font library, it's really great, okay? And everybody's gonna like it. I think it's the ability really to use, easily use, any any font with their site right now it's not that easy to do um but in 6.5 it's going to be pretty easy to use and i thought it was really cool the way i was very disappointed that it's not in this version but it's going to come all right last thing is really to sum it all up and uh, for that i will go over to my powerpoint for a slide or two um and let's go over to here and we'll just go down to here okay and uh, i'm going to move this out of the way and that is if you haven't noticed this is definitely a smaller release okay there were not really those show stopping you know uh can't miss um <laughs> heart throbbing whatever uh features in 6.5 Four um, and the one and the and the primary reason was we had a very short release cycle. Six point three came out in August, and there wasn't time to really do more than what was done. But still, I think there's some significant improvements in the experience of working with WordPress without a whole lot of real fancy stuff going on. Um, uh, yeah, as I said, we did see changes to the design tools and the site editor. Um, and is it the end of phase two? Well, there are, you know, in a way it was phase two was supposed to have already ended. I guess phase two will really never end, but they will always be making improvements to the site editor. And of course, you know, stay tuned for 6.5, which I think is going to be a, a biggie. Um, and with that, I will be, oh, one last thing. Oh yeah. Where to reach me. So you can uh, take a picture of this right now, get your cell phones out. 
And uh, it's bud at joy of wp.com. And oh, uh, if you use that thing called Twitter or X or whatever it's called, <laughs> uh, I guess it's always going to be called both. Um, I'm at joy of WP. And please follow me because I only have a thousand eight followers as of today. And I, I need to get to 2000 like in a week or so. No, I, I not, that's not going to happen. And that's really it. So um, I'm hopefully that you learned something that you didn't know already and you found it worth your time. And, you know, I'm happy to answer any questions. Oh, should I answer that question that somebody asked at the top that dealt with how to get rid of that media attachments page? Let's do that sure. one, okay? I yeah. said I would. So let's get that one done. Uh, you can actually, uh, for that, uh, there isn't a plugin yet for that, but you know you can figure it, it will be. But you don't have to wait for the plugin. You can actually you can go into your um, database and make a change in the options table, or <laughs> you can do this. So, I, and I didn't know you could do this until recently. This is like what I learned the other day. Uh, shame on me for not even knowing this, but you know you can't know everything. Uh, I'm going to get out of there, and we're going to go into. Um, so in my URL in the WP admin, I'm going to type in, um, options.php. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to leave this. And, uh, of course this is really direct access into your, um, database and right over here somewhere, it says attachment WP. I don't know where it is, but if you scroll down here somewhere, you know, Trust me, it says something like WP attachment disable or something like that. You have to change the value. Let me just see if I can find it real quick. Um, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I think it's right here. No. Um, anyway, the value has to be changed from one to zero or zero to one. I forgot which one. And, um, and that's it. And then you just can save it. Of course, you want to be careful with this. You got to back up and all that because you know you're playing with the database here, and that's it. And I haven't tried it myself, so I'm not going to guarantee. Now, fresh new WordPress installs of um, 6.4, there will be no media attachments. This is only for people who want to get rid of media attachment pages altogether, which I think is a good thing because it just wrecks up your C, or it doesn't help SEO at all. Okay. I hope that helped. Next, any other questions? Uh, no questions. Really? That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody still here? Yes, we have 41 people still here. Wow. All right, so we're all coming over for lunch. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, well, you know where to reach me, and I, I do respond to email, and I do respond to DMs and Twitter and stuff like that. So if you have any questions about anything, um, let me know. And and yes, and this is being Laura, recorded, so the, yeah. the link will be on um, in uh, the uh, uh, Learn WordPress or WordPress TV. Uh, give us a day or so, uh, since I'm still new at the transcribing and, and all that. Uh, setting that all up. But um, thank you, everyone. Appreciate that. And thank you, Laura. Yeah, you're welcome. Take care. All right. Bye, everyone.